We have left Georgetown finally. Um, both Dave and I were feeling kind of trapped there, it's like it's like a trap and we need to get out of there. We were there for three weeks and we just finally left and when we were pulling up anchor, one of the things I noticed is that the bridle, everything's slimy because <laughs> it was sitting there for too long. So we just, we had to get out. We're going down to Long Island right now. Long Island, New York. <laughs> Not Long Island, New York. No, too cold. The color of water, I know I keep commenting about it, but it's just gorgeous. I want you to take a look behind me. Can you say, oh my God, boys and girls. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way so to let you guys know, we're on the move again. We did reach Long Island and we were in Thompson Bay and we're heading to Morrison's. I really want to snorkel some more. I haven't got a chance to do that for a little while. So we're going to go up to the north end of, of Long Island and there's a whole bunch of spots. There's some really great snorkeling spots that I desperately want to go to because I need my snorkeling time in or I get a little, I get a little squirrely. I'm not gonna lie. We are not exactly patiently waiting for our new mainsail to come from Precision, but we are still without a mainsail. But that doesn't mean we can't sail. Did I say sail enough? Say one more time. Sail. And uh, right now we're doing 3.7 knots in about 10 knots of wind apparent with nothing but a jib, no main, and it's nice and quiet. I like the nice and quiet. Me too. You like the nice and quiet? I like the nice and quiet. When you're not loud, you can listen to the awesome. Right. <laughs> and that's when Lisa drowned. <laughs> There are days like this where you do need really good ground tackle. You're looking at 18, 20 knots of wind and the waves are about two feet high and we're all by ourselves in this little bay. We're going to get gusts of gale force winds so it's not always sunny in the Bahamas. We are kind of 
locked down here for the next three days until the high winds pass because these are really super high winds and cloudy and nasty because I still want to go back over here and here and go back to these rocks and do some more snorkeling around these rocks because they were really interesting. It's a cloudy, crappy day. There's a freaking mess.
Sometimes you feel like you're stuck on the boat waiting for weather windows and stuff. It's really nice to be back out here and swimming and seeing stuff. And doing doing shit!